हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग बिकॉम सेकेंड सेमिस्टर एन ई पी पेपर वी आर ऑन द लेसन नंबर थ्री ऑफ दिस यूनिट ऑफ इंसॉलवेंसी अकाउंट्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट फॉर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम आई वॉन्ट टू रिकेप्चुलेट वॉट वी लर्न इन लेसन नंबर टू इन प्रीवियस लेसन आई टॉक अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ इंसॉलवेंसीज एंड इंसॉलवेंसी लॉज एप्लीकेबल इन इंडिया In types of insolvencies, there are two types of insolvency: insolvency of a partner and insolvency of a firm. And insolvency laws in India, where two types of rules are applicable. One is preceding towns insolvency act 1990, where Mumbai, Kolkata, and Chennai is applicable, and provincial act insolvency act 1920, that is applicable to the persons who resides rest of the India. now let's start to solve this problem in this problem here a and b c were three partners who divide the profits equally on the dissolution of their partnership and their balance sheet as follows here liabilities side capital of partner a is 10000 and partner b 2500 in asset side cash 7500 and debit balance of c capital 2000 is given and realization loss 3000 so total 12500 and 12500 on asset side c become insolvent show the necessary ledger accounts before solving the problem here it is clear that capital of c that is on debit side it is clear that he is a insolvent so following are the some steps are taken into consideration to close the books the first step is realization account is prepared first in this case there is no required to prepare the realization loss because rest all realization asset realization details and liabilities are not given so direct realization loss are given that is a 3000 in this case second step is profit or loss on realization transferred to capital accounts of all the partners in their profit ratio and the third step generally we used in uh, solving the problem is if loss on realization their garner versus morare rule is applied solvent has to bring the cash equal to their respective share of loss if profit on realization in this case there is no profit on realization but if suppose such a realization profit is given in the problem no question is to bring cash by the solvent partners the further step is required for solving this problem accumulated reserves profits and loss should be transferred to all the partners in their profit ratio and the net capital deficiency of insolvent partner is to be found out such a capital deficiency should shared by the solvent partner in their capital ratio if any debit balance in the capital account of solvent partner they has to bring the cash and finally the final statement is made between the solvent partners so these are the common steps are used to close the insolvency books now in this case to solve this problem here it is clearly mentioned that c capital is shown in a asset side that is a debit balance so he is insolvent partner and realization loss is given 3000 and that must be shared profits equally so here no need to create realization loss so directly we can prepare partners capital account so here first we prepare insolvent partners account to balance brought down because it is a debit balance so c capital to balance brought down 2000 and realization loss 3000 so the realization loss is profit or loss is divided equally so here the ratio is 1000 1000 1000 so uh, capital uh, a is 10000 capital b is 2500 but the profit and loss is shared equally so it stands uh, 
loss of capital uh, partners A is 1000, partners B is 1000 loss and partners share of uh, C is 1000 to realization loss. When such loss is occurred, the solvent partner must bring the loss in their profit share. By A capital, by B's capital, cash here. Yeah. Ratio is 2500, 00, 00 cancel, 00, 00 cancel, 25 ones are 24. So that is 4 is to 1. So here 3000 loss. So 3000 loss is shared in 4 is to 1. Total is in this case 3000. So A need to bring the cash 2400 and B 600. Now solvent partners capital account. Pillars A and B particulars. A and B here. So here the opening balance of A, the capital of A is 10,000 and capital of B is 2,500. By balance brought down, A 10,000, B 2,500. Similarly, realization loss to realization loss that is shared equally 3000. In this case here it is 3000 and 1000 we have already shared in insolvent 1000. So remaining 2000 equally 1000, 1000. 1000. And the sol in solvent partners, they have bring the insolvent loss that is 2400 in this case and 600. This is transferred to their account. So here to C account, C capital account, they brought the cash here 2400 and here it is 600. by cash, relation loss 1000 and 1000 and final balance here it is 10 plus 1 11,000, 2500 plus 1000 3500 to cash. Two thousand plus one thousand, three thousand four hundred, seven thousand six hundred, and here one thousand plus six hundred, one thousand six hundred, one thousand nine hundred. So total is eleven thousand and three thousand five hundred. So final statement is cash account. It is just like a similar to your balance sheet. So to balance brought down that is taken from the balance sheet cash opening balance 7500 to is capital one 
was 1000 to piece capital 1000 by a capital two thousand four hundred seven thousand six hundred and one thousand nine hundred let's see whether it is tallied or not so here zero zero nine plus six fifteen seven eight nine ten thousand five hundred 789-9500 so this way we close the books so this is the balance sheet so here C is capital that is 2000 he is an insolvent uh, in a problem realization loss is given that is 3000 and open asset cash balance 7500 is given so this should not be taken into realization account so realization loss is given so no need to create a realization loss account and uh, capital of A is 10,000, capital B is 2,500 and here C become insolvent, show the necessary ledger accounts. First, uh, here I have prepared insolvent account because the debit balance is given and no need to create a realization account in this case of problem. So here opening balance is 2,000 and realization loss that is a 3,000, uh, it is uh, distributed equally, so 1,000. So partner A 1000, partner B 1000, partner C 1000. So in this case realization of loss is 3000. So total capital deficiency of insolvent partner is 3000. So this 3000 uh, solvent partners are bringing their cash. So by S capital in their capital ratio uh, that is uh, 10,000 uh, capital of A and B is 2500. So taking the ratio capital ratio. Uh, 3000 capital deficiency is distributed into capital ratio that is 4 is to 5 and 1 is to 5. So it stands 2400 uh, by the A, uh, partners A and partners B 600. So total is 3000. So after this uh, we need to prepare solvent partners account. So here uh, loss is transferred that is 1000, 1000 and uh, their balances opening balance are taken that is recorded on the right side. 10,000 and 2,500 2, in case of B. Similarly, the 2,400 and 600, the loss which is uh, solvent partners brings. So that 2,400, 600 is transferred in this case here. Seize capital 2,400 and 600. And the final statement uh, total of this A and total of B is 11,000 and 3,500. So this missing figure 7,600 to tally this solvent partners account 7600 and 1900 so here cash account opening balance that is given in uh, balance sheet 7500 opening balance A's loss 1000 B's loss 1000 B's capital 7600 that we have uh, figure out here in the solvent partners and B's capital is 1900 so total is 9500 and 9500 on the both the side so this way we solve the problem so in upcoming class lesson we will see how to create a realization account and how same similar kind of problem we can solve with the help of taking the realization account and uh, adjusting the partner's capital account and later final settlement is done between cash account. Thank you for listening.